show you the technique again. This is number one. This is number two, depending on space. This could be number three, or this could be number three. Either one of them is gonna bring him forward, not backwards. Guys, pay attention. See the bombs, guys. Pay attention. You know I got a video for you today. How to request training with Bob. How do I train by myself? I got a whole bunch of series on things of how to train by yourself. You know, the old school way was doing kata where you come and you do your kata by yourself and you sit by your kata and you move and you do your kata by yourself. All that is cool. But I'm gonna tell you and ask you truthfully. I've been in martial arts. I was your traditional karate man. I did kata like everybody else, but I was never ever shown how to take the kata, the real kata, and use it in the street, okay? No way in hell you're gonna sit there and breathe in and breathe out when some guy's attacking you, you're gonna sit there and go, ah, ah, ah. no, no, you're not doing that. So you don't really understand how to use the kata in the street and no one talks about it up to today. But it's important for you to know how to train. You may not have a partner. How can I do effective, good, realistic training? Something that I know that I'm gonna be able to use on the street, but I don't have a partner. So now we're gonna to go today training with Bob. First, I'm gonna show you the technique with Kenny, and then I'm gonna show it to you with Bob. Kenny, come on in. Okay, first technique is a very simple technique. You've seen it. Uh, uh, part of our one, two, three hip series. Defense against a one hand push. So the man pushes you one hand on the same side. Same side. We never cross to do this. Because every motion causes a motion. So when you cross, you're going to get punched in your face. Or, or he's going to do what Kenny did, which is just redirect your body and get behind you. The guys in the street more than likely are going to punch you in the face. So the second he sees your hand doing this, he's just going to punch you in the face. So what we do is on the same side. So now it's one, and when you do one, it's not one hand up and one hand down. It's one, palm to the chin, two, not when the head goes backwards, the body goes backwards, the groin comes forward. So your next strike has to be the groin. Has to be. Has to be. You don't want to do this. Do this, do this, and then start punching. You gave away a valuable target. If you understand body mechanics, you know that if I did this and this, for that moment, the body's arched. That means the groin is right there to me, or if I push from back far enough, front push kick, the head has to come down. So you know we use a principle called vision, breathing, balance. So now you got to unbalance them. And then whatever's available, you take it from there. Right? So now, show you the technique again. This is number one. This is number two, depending on space. This could be number three, or this could be number three. Either one of them is going to bring him forward, not backwards. Now you interrupt the vision while you balance. His head is turned. Now you got the whole side where you can snap the kneecap, turn around and get the hell out. But now I have Bob. I don't have Kenny. I don't have a partner like Kenny. I just got Bob. So now Bob, I first thing is body mechanics. My hands, the same way. A guy just talk, you gotta talk to Bob. Yo man, why are you pushing me? Yo, you, yo, you don't even see, look. But he push you. Yo, you don't need to push him. Yo, man. Because if somebody push you, you're not going to stand there like this. Soon as they push you, your hands are going to go. Yo, yo, yo. Start. Put your hands up in a non-threatening manner. Now you work from here. Number one. I'm going this way. I'm going into the block. Number one. My hand is up. Why am I going this way? Because when I shove his head back, boom, I want to make sure... My head, I'm not doing this and this. 
because I'm going to get punched in the face. Kenny, can you come back in here quick? Hey guys, Professor David here. There's a brand new way for you to contact us, guys. All you got to do is call 718-252-8944 and leave a message. Don't forget, we have our coaching. We have our online weekly training. We have seminars. We're available for that. You have a university where there's 2,000 techniques in there. Now let's get back to the video. If I did this and this, Kenny could just loop over and punch me in the face, right? This, this, boom. But if I did this, this, look at my head, look at my hand. Now if Kenny tried to loop over, I'm right there ready for the block and I'm still gonna unbalance him and still get that groin shot. So you make sure you move, work it. Massive repetition, one, two, now the groin, three, he bends, I'm balanced. Now I'm gonna use the kick. Young man, why are you pushing? Why are you pushing? One, two, shove and slide back, boom, kick, move forward, push, unbalance. That's how you would work that particular technique. Now let's go to the next technique. Okay, a two hand push. So now the man is pushing me with two hands. Right? Pushing me with two hands, I'm going to come inside the two hands by the muscle. Why am I grabbing by the muscle? Because in case Kenny tries to punch, I could stop him from punching. If I do this, this, and grab by the shirt, he can still have the freedom and the ability to punch me. So I do this and I get the muscle. Now, from here, if I'm not a fighter, a fighter might headbutt first, but I'm not a fighter, right? So I want to go from here, and I want to come up. I want to go from here, bounce into the eyes. Once again, the head goes back. Boom, the groin come forward. Now, wham, headbutt. Or if the groin come forward too far, let him come down, hammer fist him in the head, and unbalance. And look at those leg shots again. Watch again. He's pushing, muscle into the eyes, into the groin, right? It depending on how he bends. He didn't bend a lot. I take it right from here, change the focus and push. I look for those legs. Always want to work the low high concept. Always, 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 right? You could put here, hold that muscle, bounce up, boom, knee, boom, knee, boom, knee, and then kick and then push. So you work the same way with Bob. So now, pushes me, hand positioning, body mechanics. Go like this. Your hands are not like this. Into the muscle. Into the muscle. Into the muscle so you can't punch. And when you do that, bend a little, get your head ready. Into the muscle, hand here. Bounce into the eyes, explode into the eyes, head is back, boom into the knee, boom into the knee. Now you know the man bent. So when he's bent, boom, hammer fist, hammer fist, and then unbalance. Let's do it again. Hey guy, no need to push me, no need to push me. Into the muscle, into the eyes. Now, Wow, you could headbutt. Pull him in. Wow, headbutt. Or once again, here, into the eyes. Whoa, knee. Whoa, knee. Step back. Bang, kick. Boom. And then explode and unbalance. That's the second technique. The third technique. Man got his hand in your face. Now I want to try to put a, a lock on of some kind. What is the best lock I always told you? always available called the Superman. Push it, control it, attack his face, elbow goes in, through the loop underneath the arm, the Superman. Chop the face, either punch the face or push on the face, use the thigh, the groin, boom! And now kick that leg out, right crank that arm down. 
Guys, we need you to subscribe. 70% of you are not subscribed yet. Do it. Show it to you again. Push, control, attack. Boom, hit. Watch that. That's the main part. When you come in, the hand is not down. When your hand is out here, your elbow is pushing this hand out the way, the other hand is attacking. Now you gotta go with it. Look at my head, my head is not a target. He doesn't know what's going on, he's off balance. I'm coming into the groin or the knee, boom, and kick that leg out, crank and pull that arm down. Now you say, David, all I got is Bob. So I put a coat on Bob. So now that I put a coat on Bob, and Bob has a coat, the same thing. I envisioned Bob had his hand in my face. I use my outside hand. Push it, control it, attack, elbow down, into the sleeve. I go under the armpit, under the armpit, attack the face, knee, knee. Now, look at the feet. Kick the leg out, lock that arm. I'll do it one more time. His hand is in my face. I push it, control it. Hand goes across, attack, elbow down. As this comes down, this goes forward. As this go down, this goes forward. As this go down, this go forward. Now, I'm set up. Knee to the thigh now, knee to the thigh. Knee to the thigh, push the leg out. Kunta kicking, take the hand behind the head if necessary, lock that arm up. And guys, you just keep doing it over and over and over again. Kenny, come on in here, please. So you don't always have to have a partner. You could train without a partner if you know how to train right. If you're using real techniques that will work with the partner, body mechanics. The movements are the same. Right. Can you tell them what to do? Guys, make sure if you don't have a bob, invest in it. I know a lot of you guys, you know, you have families and you work out in your basement, you have a garage. If you don't have a bob, invest in one, guys. You'll be able to do all of our techniques, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, guys, and smash that subscribe button and share, guys. Thank you very much for all your support, guys. Peace.